When you talk about noise manager and these other things, are those add-on tools to Photoshop? Noise, noise manager, I think, is a separate program, isn't it? Yeah, but, but it, it will also let us an add-on. And it will let us an add-on. I use a different thing called Media Image. Um, yeah, 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 which is a separate thing. And it will okay. it will either install as a standalone or as a plug-in in Photoshop. Either way. Hmm. So I like the Galaxy, but to me, that's done an unacceptable thing up here. And I just showed you that star minimization can do the opposite for a planet show that needs to do that. So we'll get to a point. Now, I should have already done a test when I've done all of this. OK, yes. All right. So here's a case where I've So what all I need to do 
And this is important to do. Select the, don't select the image, select the layer mask. And you get a, a black paintbrush. And take a paintbrush and make sure that your size is um, appropriate for what you want to paint. Get your uh, cat box up. You can see the size of your brush. Is that right? Yeah, you got the you got the cat box here. Yeah. All right. So since I'm going to be painting the galaxy, that's a pretty good size right here. I'm going to be at all night. And I'm going to take the flow. I don't want this to flow too much. I'm going to be a 50 percent flow. What does that mean? Flow? It's a, I've got a black paintbrush, but I don't want too much paint. I want to I want to oh. I'm going to sketch it a little bit so that the first time I swipe it's gray, and the next time I swipe it's a little darker. Than oh. That's the flow. All right, I'm zooming in a little bit. So now, what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start painting on this white layer, the black paint. And it's going to cut a hole in this layer and let the sharpened layer show through. Only where I paint. So I'm just going to start painting the dust on it. And we we'll see. Wow. Now, I don't want to paint this part because I remember that part was blown out a little bit. If I do, we'll come back and fix it. See that paint that kind of blew the corner out. So you want to go back and fix that and just start white paint. I think it's like the white. It's a very sort of intuitive way to, to uh, reveal two layers only on one. And there's a big dark thing here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let the sharpened version of that flow through. And all in here. Now, do you deal with some sort of feathering when it gets to the edge? Is that already figured out with that? That would be a great thing to do, actually. Turn off your bottom layer so you can actually see what's happening. There. Yeah, exactly. Nice. So you can see what I'm painting. I'm actually painting the hole in the top layer, letting the galaxy show through. The bottom galaxy show through. You see, I'm probably doing really too much here. It's not, it's not a sharp edge. It's not a sharp edge, but it's a great idea. And probably so it's one of the crazy. tricks you can use by taking this layer and feathering it. Uh, and, and making it uh, smoother. Dave, yeah, um, you could also at this point reduce the flow down to say 20%. Down to, yeah, and I, could it 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 down. I could really drop this flow down and make the brush that's, really that's big. Cool. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and just get a little bit in there, just a little bit. You know, you can do all kinds of tricks. But I, I think I've gone too far here. I like looking at the actual yeah. uh, and the problem is. So I'm going to go back a few steps. Maybe I don't know how much of that I did. But Well, what's nice is you can always go back and paint and white. You can always you can always wipe it and start over. That's right. I was somewhere in here. All right. You can put this as a uh, video up on the web for us, right? So. <laughs> it's, being, it's being recorded. Oh, this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> We're all kind of watch this too every time. Yes, two posts. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just keep doing that a little bit. You can come down here and fix these arms, make those sharper. Uh, I can play with this little galaxy. Oh, look at it. Because, you know, I've got a sharpened image underneath, and I just don't want the, I don't want the stars to do it. By doing that, you've also brought up a bloated stars over here. Exactly. The, see that right here in particular? Oh. That's one. You see the problem I created by letting that, that, uh, that distorted star sure. show through. All I've got to do is take the white paint. Make okay. your brush real small. Make your brush real small. And then just blot it there out. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Brush that. And make our brush star size. It's so cheating. So cheating? This <laughs> <laughs> is only slightly cheating. And then take that back to the top layer. Look at that. And you can do that to every one of these stars where you've got the, where you've introduced the problem. So we can yeah. just bring that. It's too yeah. cool. Bring the distorted start back. And so you, you, you spend all night doing this. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But so long as it keeps getting better. You guys are getting better. Yeah. All right, so that's your mask question. And when you're done with that, what you have to remember to do is kind of fix this. I think that's just great.